Hi guys. Um, today I want to demonstrate you a little great project in uh, Internet of Things testing area, which is based in, uh, on IoT fast prototyping kit named uh, S3, S3A7. Uh, it's it's a ring assassinary platform. Uh, so, what have we developed for the testing of this uh, digital digital circuit? So, first of all, we've created a client side application which is controlling, configuring, uh, launching the tests which we've developed in the sample project. Um, we've developed it in Java. Uh, and it contains uh, a couple of modules uh, like HTML logger, uh, which is beautifying our test results and uh, making the, them more representative. Uh, here we have a lib which is controlling the connection between our PC and this digital circuit. Uh, let's use the serial port. Uh, and a couple of modules which are not very valuable, so they are not very major. So here we have a connection <coughs> with the digital circuit. It is based on um, uh, serial port, and here we're using USB. Uh, here we have a digital circuit. Uh, IoT device. Here we go. And it's named S3A7. Um, here is already pre-installed our sample project. So, uh, what do we have here? Uh, the project is developed based on a C programming language. Uh, there are a um, couple of drivers included in this project which are controlling the functionality of this digital circuit. So D1, D2, D3, D4, and so forth. Um, it's kind of a C binary, but on a circuit it's already a kind of a firmware or something like that. And here we have tests, our ultimate tests, which are testing those drivers, do they work correctly, they're collecting uh, some uh, performance data for the bench marks. So that's it. This is how this project looks like on a um, programming side. Now I will demonstrate to you how does it works uh, on a real PC. Okay guys, let's continue. Um, I will show you what have we developed here. Um, here we have um, um, client side of the project. It is developed on Java and we've used IntelliJ IDE and we have um, E2 Studio which the Renesa Synergy provides to develop their projects and we've based our uh, proof of concept on the sample project and added their tests which are uh, generally testing the uh, drivers which are available on this IoT device. Uh, okay, um, for the interaction between our PC and the device, uh, we've used Linux because the interaction between the PC and device is much more simple uh, through Linux because the serial port is, uh, is a kind of a dark magic on the 
windows so we've just uh, dodged this uh, pile of work so um, generally uh, what kind of uh, specific uh, do we have with um, testing of IoT devices um, we need uh, to understand somehow that the testing was started that the testing process is uh, going fine and that the testing process was finished and we can take a look at the results uh, on our PC so um, to solve this uh, task we've developed a special module uh, which is uh, making our IoT device blink three times uh, on the start of the testing uh, the light is on during all the testing process and it blinks three times more uh, on the end of this process after which we can say that the testing was finished and we can take a look at the results on PC we can take a look um, uh, in a beautiful uh, HTML file the results of the test so let's take a look how does it works so here we have Linux console and let's launch the tests okay here we have an indication of the test started that the test started now the light is on and the tests are working fine okay here we have an output that we started CRC driver testing here we executed the testing now we've got the results of the benchmarks um, here we have the testing of another driver um, here we've got a problem hmm, great okay we will take a look at it later uh, when the results of the testing will be much more representative okay here we've got an indication that the testing was finished the led blinked three times now we can take a look at the results so um, here we have a generated folder just a second ago uh, here our HTML file and we can take a look at the results um, okay so what do we have here we have um, the final status of the test run the it, it is not pasted we have we, we, we found a problem during test run the duration was 40 seconds 10 tests were paced to fail it okay let's take a look at the results and at this problem which we found okay so <clears throat> what do I have here um, the We've been testing AGT driver and we were um, using the functionality timer on it. So we've reset the timer and it failed. Uh, we expected that the initial value will be 999, but we've got a thousand. So um, it didn't reset to the default value. And we've got an increased value so this is an error which is um, described quite um, obvious and we can simply refer that refer this log to the developers and they will fix the bug very fast and effective um, that's all I wanted to show you uh, on this demo I will be glad to answer any questions if you have them.